the swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the color, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. last, we stand at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The End War has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. 
but far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor, commence the invasion! to the warp network at Karasan now. Well done, Salendis. Once the warp conduits are free of infestation, our forces will strike as one across the surface of Iyer. The Templar await your command, Hierarch. Warriors, Iyer awaits you. March forth and take it! Some Colossi to join your forces. Use them well, Artanis. There is a Zerg hive cluster near your warriors. If possible, we should destroy it. Well fought, my warriors. Let us return our focus to reclaiming the warp conduit. Hours. Warp down reinforcements. As you command. Two warp conduits remain in the grip of the Zerg. Ready yourselves, brethren. We move for victory. See. Artanis, there are more hives in the surrounding area. Destroying them would deal the Zerg a crippling blow. A hive. Warriors, annihilate it. We strike as one! This hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. As you say. Hierarch, we thank you for your aid. Allow us to join you in battle. The second warp conduit is activating now. Psi matrix signal confirmed. Reinforcements warping in at your location. May the Kala guide our blades! Another hive lies in ruins. Only one remains, my warriors. are intelligent beyond Feral Zerg. You speak truly, Zeratul. An unseen hand moves them. We must be on guard. For now. The final hive has fallen. Let this be the first victory of many. Ire will be restored. The final conduit lies before us. Show the Zerg no mercy! First born, your fate is sealed. Impossible hybrid on iron. It is they who have been meeting the Zerg. This is the end of your race. The warp conduit.
orbits have been secured. Our starfighters are moving to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. Seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become, if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Korhal and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. And Taro Artanis, brother. Zeratul, you must secure the Zelnaga Keystone from James Raynor. My forces will reactivate the Spear of Adun, a warship that will be invaluable in the battles ahead. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. in ruins. What has transpired here? Zerg, protect the Dark Prelate. Mm, the Zerg in this area should have been eradicated. Stalkers, hurry to the Nexus Point nearby and warn our brethren. I must investigate this further. The enemy surrounds us. Proceed with caution. For that, we will have to blink across this chasm. We move unseen. Mutalisks, focus particle disruptors upon them. I serve. For now. Zeratul, the Templar stationed here. I can no longer sense them within the Kala. Is that not impossible? Your kind cannot disappear from the Kala. Unless your nerve cords are severed. Then the impossible has happened. I can no longer sense Artanis. There is only a void in the Kala where he should be. The shadow moves against us, Executor. Artanis is in grave peril. You must raise an army and find him. My face smith, Karax, will help you re-establish this nexus point. Zeratul, save Artanis. 
Dark Prelate Zeratul, I am Carax of the Kalai Cast. Friend Carax, we must establish this nexus as quickly as possible. Understood. These structures allow you to raise your army, but they are powerless. Order a probe to warp in a pylon near them. The warp rift has opened. Your probe can return to gathering minerals immediately. The pylon is complete. It has provided enough supply to warp in ground forces at your gateways. To warp in more stalkers, you will require Vespine gas from the geyser near your mineral fields. Order a probe to warp in an assimilator on top of the geyser, and you will be able to gather Vespine. The assimilator requires three probes to harvest at maximum efficiency. The nexus point has been re-established. Once your warriors are ready, you should proceed with your mission, Dark Prelate. Zeratul, the Zerg are moving to attack. Rally your defenses. A void pylon. It should be able to summon my Nerezim brothers. Dark Prelate, we answer your call. Aku. There, another void pylon. We are at your service, Zeratul. Zeratul! Denier of the Kala! Here in the shadows. It shall be. The zealots have been corrupted. The hybrid must be behind this. Let us move with purpose. I... This appears to be the last void pylon in the area. From the shadows we come. Executor Solendus, I have encountered your missing Templar, but they have been corrupted, as if possessed. Solendus. I serve. Zeratul, I... I can sense your presence. The Kala is filled with rage. My mind is being consumed. Artanis, you must hold on. We are coming for you. Your lies are meaningless, purposeless. I grant you salvation. is here, on Ayr. He has wrested control of the Kala. The Templar have fallen. With our nerve cords severed, only we Nerezim remain unaffected. It falls to us to halt this madness, brothers. We must reach young Artanis. I only pray that we are not too late. The path of salvation. Voices. Whisper of oblivion. Of salvation. Kala. Fury. And rage. Resist the unity he brings.
generators still function, I should be able to bring them online. Once the spear is fully activated, we must flee from this fallen world. The Spear of Adun lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. Our time is. Why do you flee from your salvation? Selendis. She has fallen under Amon's control. Karax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online. The first power cell is activating. But the remaining four have been disabled by creep. I see. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. Photon cannons can defend our Nexus Point, Hierarch. They require only a pylon to function. You can warp in a pylon using the Spear of Adun. Press the Deploy Pylon button at the top of your command screen. Our 
our cannons will now fire upon enemies within range. If they become damaged, the shield battery will restore their shielding. These defenses will indeed be vital to our evacuation, but our first priority must be to clear the power cells of creep. We can now transform our gateways into warp gates. This allows us to warp in warriors to any area with pylon power. Zergling bioforms on approach to our nexus. We must rally our defenses. I am detecting unpowered warp gates nearby. Constructing a pylon next to them would restore their power, giving us an advantage. The Spear of Adun's deploy pylon ability would be ideal for this. Of course, our probes can always warp in pylons as well. Our forces have discovered a warp gate. Now, we only need to construct a pylon to power it. For our tenant. Warp gate online. We can begin warping in warriors from it immediately, Hierarch. My meditation. The second power cell is active. The spear sensor array is reacting. Do not deny your destiny, Artemis. Your people have finally found true unity. Sensors online. Wait. What is this? Warp prisms approaching our nexus point. Stalkers, eliminate those warp prisms. Karax, I've brought another warp gate online. Prepare it for immediate use. Another pack of Zerglings is approaching our nexus from the south. I would advise caution, Hierarch. You are approaching the Zerg's hive cluster. It will be heavily defended. All life is broken. Fly. It must be reforged. Every hand turns against you. Even the ground beneath your feet carries the seeds of my victory. Intriguing. Nidus worms. Warriors, strike them down. We are not defeated yet. Struggle no more. Be released from your pain. Well done, Hierarch. All of the abandoned warp gates are now under our control. Hierarch, I am detecting a Protoss presence in that direction. That path does not lead to a power cell. Almost finished, Hierarch. The Spear of Adun is nearly online. Only one cell remains. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring.
by engineering at last of the three great arc ships. Each created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time. Within its chambers rest contingents of zealots, Templar who bravely sacrificed, entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time, when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Karax, and we will free the Templar. <laughs>